so tonight got the bed on. Ta da! Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, don't ask me what happened to my finger. That was an ordeal. Anyway, <clears throat> got the bed on tonight. Did the last coat of paint uh, last night. Let it dry through the night and this morning, and uh, threw this on this evening right before dark. Um, <clears throat> and um, I'm actually missing. I don't know where I. I have all my <clears throat> bed bolts here, but the front bolts are apparently different than these. They're slightly longer. They come out about here. So <clears throat> I'm missing one of my uh, front bed bolts. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, that one right there. So. That's the one I'm missing. Um, so I'll probably... I wonder if LMC Truck has those. I might have to I'm gonna have to go look that up. Beyond that, got the bed on. Um, at this some point in time, this truck was... Had a gooseneck. Or uh, not this truck, but the bed this truck came off of. Um, that may be a lie, too, because this bed, I know for a fact, has been on several trucks. Um, the this I got this bed from our um, family mechanic. And... Um, he has a whole slew of these things, but this and but the that came off of God knows what. It's been on God knows how many trucks, but <clears throat> it'll be fine um, for the most part. It's pretty darn straight. Um, it has a few little blemishes here. I don't know what happened right there. It kind of looks like someone took a welder to it and just zapped it for a second. It's really weird. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Hello, focus. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, definitely looks like someone bead welded that, so I'll have to do. There's a, some minor body work to be done, and the cab's pretty straight. So at some point in time in the future, I will uh, do the body work and get this thing painted. Um, maybe a while though, because <clears throat> I'm not the richest man in the world, nor do I have the most time of anyone. So, so yeah, I've just been cleaning it up in here in the garage, and um, probably go spray it out. It's supposed to be below freezing tomorrow. But uh, would you look at that frame? I'm really proud of that. Did about four coats, and then I did that, um, I think it was called Core Seal, that Coral Seal underneath uh, primer rust converter thing. Worked out pretty well. Um, turned all black, so I assume it worked, and then I just painted over it. And that's what you're supposed to do according to the bottle. But uh, yeah. So that should hold up for another, you know, hopefully 10 or 15 years. Uh, there was actually still, a, don't remember if you saw my previous videos, but there was still a little bit of paint left um, up underneath. So, But <clears throat> right now the tailgate's on, and um, it's got that aluminum piece on. I might take that off. I haven't really seen it in the daylight, so I don't really know what I prefer. Plus it's been in a garage, so I can't really get back here anyway. Um... <clears throat> But overall, it's pretty nice. Um, I actually, strangely enough, I think my frame might be slightly out of whack. I mean, it doesn't affect driving or anything, but both this bed and the previous bed were both t tilted slightly this way. Um, it kind of makes me think the, uh, the frame was messed up. At first, I thought it was the cab. The cab was off, but I looked, and the bumper was also tilted this way, so that kind of made me think that the bed was off or the uh, frame was a little bit off so right where the bolts go I stuck some washers and some rubber grommets to make sure those were uh, those were safe but for now it's level so I'll uh, I'll mess around with it some more if it uh, starts messing up on me again bringing you around to the other side here there's a little bit of uh, fender I don't know if you call it fender but wheel well damage on this side um, <clears throat> right here so I might have to bondo that bondo that up I might be able to pull it out we'll have to see um, and then there's a little blemish there so it's going to need a little bit of work and um, at some point I hate when people do this why can't you just use the stupid brackets for your toolbox but it's got the typical holes of uh, toolbox mounting, not nearly as many as my old bed had. I mean, I think it had side. It was a city truck, so uh, at some point in time, so it had side-mounted toolboxes everywhere, and they just drilled wherever they felt that felt like it. So, <clears throat> but overall, it's not bad. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get some of that fender chrome for all the other wheel wells because I really like that, and it really matches the uh, the um, hubcaps.
bring you around the other side. One of my hubcaps is not like the others. It's um, it's this one right here. It's painted, whereas those are uh, bare chrome or aluminum probably. Um, <clears throat> but I took it off on the inside. It says 1981. So obviously, with this being a 93, that's wrong. It should turn out pretty good when I get it all said and done. Um, as far as the frame painting goes, I really only did from the bed back. Um, I did a little bit under the cab, but <clears throat> most it's all it's all grimy and oily under there because I've got a few leaks here and there. So whenever I get around to fixing those leaks, I will clean that part of the frame up and then probably get it done. But so much dirt on there anyway. I bet you if you get all that dirt off, the original frame paint will be there. So that's the way it was under here around the uh, differential. It was leaking, so I fixed that. But it was leaking and there was dirt everywhere. So when I got all the dirt and grime off, the original paint was there. So, But, yep, yeah, should be pretty cool once it's done. Hopefully you all enjoy and uh, have fun.